Hi, this video will guide you through how to search and apply for a rental property in Australia and specifically in Geelong. Finding and applying for a property can be an overwhelming process, but we will give you tips and answer all your questions to help you rent your first house. The most common and convenient way to find a property to rent is to search online. It is also possible to visit a specific real estate agent's office to discover any properties they currently have for lease. Many real estate agencies also advertise properties for rent by displaying a sign in front of available properties. If you search online, the most common websites are www.realestate.com.au www.domain.com.au Barry Plant, Harcourt's North Geelong, Mayfield Real Estate Within each search, you can specify the suburb, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms and parking spaces, and the type of property, such as house, apartment, unit or townhouse. Types of houses a house, a standalone house, is the largest type of house. It has multiple bedrooms, a garden, and a large backyard. Unit A unit is a small house that is on a property with other units. They generally have one to two bedrooms and small backyards and gardens. For most units, you will have to share your driveway with the people in the other units on the same property. Townhouse A townhouse is bigger than a unit and has two stories. It is connected to other townhouses by a wall and has small backyards or can have no backyard at all. What to consider when finding a house? First, price. When choosing a house, the most important thing is to choose the one you can afford. You will see that the price of a house is different in each location. 2. Size You also need to consider what size of house your family needs. In Victoria, it is recommended that no more two people share a bedroom. Consider finding a house where this is possible. 3. What is nearby also consider what is important to you – shopping, public transport, school, your workplace or worship place. It is a must that you inspect the property before deciding to apply and eventually sign a lease. A property may have specific inspection times which are advertised online. Alternatively, the property manager or real estate agent will contact people who have inquired to let them know if a time has been scheduled to inspect the property. These inspections will typically be a specific 15 or 30 minutes as specified by the real estate agent. You may be asked to register for an inspection online in advance. You can then directly inquire with real estate agents about inspecting an advertised property. You need to be on time for these inspections because if you are late, you could miss out on the property. Your application will not be accepted if you do not inspect the property. In some occasions, real estate agents may allow potential tenants to inspect a property privately at a time that is suitable for them. You can contact the real estate agent responsible for leasing the property to find out if this option is available. It's a good idea to make a checklist of features to look at when inspecting a rental property. These can include parking, heating, natural light, kitchen, bathroom, outdoor area, furniture and condition. After inspecting the property, if you want to apply for it, ask the landlord or real estate agent for the application forms or where to apply online. Applying for a rental property can be competitive, especially if many people are interested in one property. The application will usually require potential renters to provide the following details. 
identification, renting history, where have you lived previously, employment, landlord will want to ensure tenants can pay the rent on time. References Property managers may contact references such as previous managing agents, employers or character references who will be living at the property with you along with any pets. You should submit your application quickly after an inspection. If you wait too long, you could miss out on the property. It's a good idea to introduce yourself to the managing agent and submit both a digital and hard copy application. It is recommended to provide as many financial details as possible to show your ability to pay rent. Pay slips, bank statements, and current employment contract or a letter from your employer stating your salary are all ways of providing evidence of your regular income. You can contact your case manager who can assist you in providing your Centrelink statement if that's your main source of income. Remember, it can take quite some time to be accepted for a property and you may not get every house you apply for. Make sure to apply for multiple properties to increase the chances of you getting a new home on time. It is not uncommon for renters to offer above the asking rental price in the hopes of securing a desired property. This practice is commonly referred to as rental bedding. Rental bedding is illegal in Victoria. These are the most common reasons why an applicant's rental property applications are repeatedly rejected. First, you haven't provided enough evidence of your income. Two, you haven't completed the application properly. Three, you are applying for properties outside your price range. Four, you didn't apply quickly enough. Once you've been accepted for a rental property, you'll need to sign a lease, also known as a residential tenancy agreement. We will explain that in the next video in detail.